Do you know a lot of millennials? Do you need more phrases and words to understand them? I'll hook you up. Hi, this is Lisa Marie from Living My Best Life Over 50, Your Best Life, whatever age you are. I make videos about aging and being relevant so you can live your best life at any age. Today, I've got 10 millennial expressions for you, plus a bonus, so be sure to stay to the end so you can get the bonus one and help you stay relevant and be part of the conversation. Let's jump right into them. The first expression is Netflix and chill. Now, what this means is you're inviting someone to come on over and not watch Netflix, but fool around on the couch instead. Maybe Netflix is playing in the background, but you're really not gonna watch it. I'll use it in a sentence to see if this will help you understand it. Hey George, after your word search puzzle, wanna come over and Netflix and chill? The second one is sorry, not sorry. You would say that when you really wanna make it clear to someone just how unremorseful you really are. Here's an example. Did you see Hazel's bedazzled sweatshirt? I told her it was blinding me. Sorry, not sorry. Number three, the struggle is real. If someone says that to you, or if you say it, you are making fun of yourself or they're making fun of you because what they're really saying is the struggle is not real and that you are taking something way too seriously. For example, the news interrupted Jeopardy. <laughs> The struggle is real. Number four is swerve. You're in the wrong lane. Basically, you're not welcome here. Someone's telling you to get lost or leave. The example is, I walked into the senior center while the men were talking about fishing. Albert told me to swerve. Number five is zennials. This is older millennials who were born between 1977 and 1983 who don't really want to associate with millennials or Gen Xers, so they call themselves zennials, which is kind of like also making fun of the fact that there's a label for any generation at all. Example, did you hear what that zennial said to Sandra? They speak a whole nother language. Number six, when you're thirsty. Now I'm not talking about something to drink here, which is obviously what you would think. It's when you're actually craving something, but could be a person who you think is attractive or hot, or it could be more followers on Instagram or more friends on Facebook or whatever it is. So in a sentence, here's how I would use that. Eugene is thirsty for bingo partners tonight. Number seven is trolls. Now a lot of people may have heard this word and it's not the people under the bridge. I'm definitely not talking about that. These are people online that are just being mean from behind their keyboard and they say nasty things to strangers online. They purposely go somewhere just to be nasty, like that's their whole purpose. I was on the local news website yesterday checking on the weather and a troll was there and they were so rude. Number eight is RT. Now this has to do with Twitter. It means retweet. Or another way that you could use it is instead of the word ditto. Let me give you an example. So someone said to me, I love the movie Born Free. And I said, RT. Number nine is LB or FB. And that is like back or follow back. Again, you know, Instagram, Facebook, any of those type of social media platforms. So when someone likes you or follows you on social media, you would return the favor. Here's an example. I saw that a nice looking man liked my picture on Facebook. I LB'd him. Number 10 is quiche. Not talking about the egg dish. No, no, no. This is totally different. It's like something that's hotter than hot, but it's really not. And the reason it works is because you say it like it's something really hot and it clearly isn't. So it's one of those kind of opposite type words. Here's an example. The yolkless egg dish at Baker Square is so quiche. And I promised you a bonus word, and here it is, America. It's poking fun at Americans' endless capacity for self-love. When people get too excited about fireworks or firearms or anything that's considered all-American, baseball, football, whatever it is. Here's an example. I can't wait for the 4th of July with the fireworks and the hot dogs and hamburgers and apple pie, America. That's pretty much where you would use that. If you wanna learn about aging and being relevant at any age so you can live your best life, then be sure to check out these videos around my head. Also subscribe and then you'll never miss a video. Have a great day, bye.